five things about finance you weren't taught in school. That you're not supposed to save your money in the bank. What compounding interest is, what the rule of 72 is, what the 1020 rule is, and what the 50, 30, 20 rule is. If you don't know what those five finance things are, well, you've been taught to fail. Five Part things two. about finance you weren't taught in school. That you're not supposed to save your money in the bank. Banks are not meant for storage, they're meant for transactions, for paying your bills, your rent. They don't give you any interest, so why are you saving money in the bank? Side note, the bank don't even save their money in the bank. What compounding interest is? Compounding interest is just interest on top of interest. And the average American is getting flat interest. What the rule of 72 is? All you do is take the number 72 and you divide it into any rate of return, and that's going to tell you how long it takes to double your money. Most people have this used against them, but you can use it to your benefit. What the 1020 rule is? The 10 represents 10 times your monthly expenses saved up for emergencies, and the 20 represents 20 times your annual salary to retire. What the 50, 30, 20 rule is? The goal should be to live within 50% of your monthly income 30% should go toward enjoyment and lifestyle, and then 20% should go toward saving and investing. Now that you know what those five things are, there's no reason why you should fail. You need to understand these two concepts about money and never forget them. Number one, what does it mean to be financially independent? It means you can live on the interest that your assets produce. Let's apply it. You have a pile of money in some type of account that's growing interest. You take out a portion of it to pay your bills, to live, to travel, go on vacation, so the account value decreases. But because it's earning interest, the account value increases and you do it over and over and over. Now let me teach you the second concept. This is the concept of generational wealth. Because you're taking money from this pile and it continues to accrue, it will never run out. You do that until you die. Once you die, you pass it to your children and they do the same for generations to come. Here on this page, all we talk about is generational wealth and making money, so be sure to follow. Don't leave money to your kids outright because it's subject to their creditors. And if they get a divorce, it could go to their ex-spouse. Consider a trust instead. It gives lifetime asset protection. Three things about money that are complete and absolute myths and you need to know so you can build wealth. One, having $1,000 in your emergency fund will get you nowhere. You need to take your monthly expenses, multiply them by three, and that's how much you need to truly have an emergency fund. Two, it's okay to start investing even if you have debt. You have to be strategic. Don't lose out on the compound because you want peace of mind. And three, having debt is not a bad thing if you know how to leverage it. Utilize your credit, obtain properties, obtain assets that will create cash flow and produce income for you. Then reinvest that income and create true wealth. Let's go into detail on this more. Comment money below and I'll invite you to my next event where we talk about all of it. I only use cash when I buy food and toiletries. When I come across a 10 rand I put it into my envelope and save it. All my other expenses, I pay online and I track it weekly. Join the 10 round saving challenge and start seeing your money grow.